Hello, welcome to my quick review of the Norev models 18th scale Citroen C6 or Citroen C6 as it maybe should be called. Close anyway, somebody with a better French accent will do better than me. Um, so these models are no longer available and they're fetching quite good values um, second hand. Uh, in fact, by the time you watch this video, I'd have probably sold this one now. If you're wondering why I've, I'm selling this one, uh, it's because I also have a 43rd scale fully packaged from Norev in 43rd scale and an opened 43rd scale Norev in black. Uh, so, you know, and these ones, oh, is that an opening? I don't know, it almost looks like it should have an opening driver's door because uh, there's no uh, window there but it doesn't look like it does so uh, yeah so I actually own the Citroen C6 in this color in a full size one-to-one -one scale uh, in fact in the UK it's one of 24 petrol powered cars uh, it also has an LPG conversion on it most of these cars were diesels of course because that was popular in France and even popular in the UK at the time uh, so the only place you'll find petrol ones really are Norway, I think, and um, Japan. Uh, obviously right-hand drive in Japan. Uh, so anyway, this model has openings. It's um, die-cast metal. Um, it has openings, so let's open the bonnet first. And it's a bit creaky, but it opens not terribly far. And it shows the, th the 2.7 litre HDI diesel engine in moderately okay detail. Um, okay, but like I say, it's a fairly cheap model, so you'll get biggish shut lines on it. The way the bonnet opens up, yeah, I mean, they're keeping it away from the windscreen, so that's good. And you'll find that with the uh, rear boots as well. It doesn't touch the window, it gets close, but this doesn't stay open. Um, so, you know, you've got, you've got detail on there that's a bit floppy it doesn't really feel great um, but accurate detail so this is the pre facelift car because really it was facelifted tiny bit for the three litre diesel so you've got the what I prefer these uh, twin exhaust there on the later three litre you had twin oval one one in each side but I don't like those and they had different wheels and these are the Rocker Strada wheels which uh, I prefer so this is a rolling model the steering the wheels do steer, front wheels, um, fine. Uh, the doors, the front and rear doors open, so let me just get the front ones open. And you'll notice one of the things about the doors is the frameless windows, and that's true of the real car. So in a way, you'd call this a uh, four-door coupe, potentially, like a Mercedes CLS. Anyway, there we go. Um, Let's see what we can get in terms of detail in the car. So if I'm getting closer up, you'll see the lighting a bit better. Uh, the contrast will pick up. So um, this one's got the dark interior like mine. Some of them had a pale interior, which was uh, full of reflections. This is this is modeling the exclusive trim. So it's got the better hi-fi and navigation screen and uh, it's got reclining rear seats, but obviously this model does not have that. So, um, but so it's quite a hefty model. The paint is fine on this, uh, and the scale of the uh, the scale of the metallic effect is fine as well. It's not a big metallic; it's suitably small grained. Um, I mean, looking at it, you've got the headlight detail, and of course, what I'll show you in the headlights, and you'll see in other parts of the car. There's an element of um, Art Deco to this car, possibly the wheels, possibly this detail in the headlights, uh, details in this rear window and the way this rear light works, but uh, that might be better seen on the actual full-size car. There's the underside, so you've got a good representation of the exhaust system. Of course, the real car does have under trays like that. Um, side under trays etc so I've owned mine my actual car for eight years now and um, I do enjoy and like it you've got the um, suspension spheres there for the hydro pneumatic suspension um, in the back so yeah 
um, all in all, you know, an okay model. It's, uh, you know, it's it's not nothing special. Um, I would expect new a model like this really to cost sixty pounds, seventy, eighty dollars, no more. You know, it's um, like I say, the shut lines aren't great, and the plastic of the wheels isn't really great and stuff. But but you know, it's adequate. So. Um, I don't know whether I'm sorry to see it go or not, but I'm um, getting rid of it. It takes up two. It's a big car. It takes up plenty of space. Uh, I'm tending to scale down to 43rd scale. Anyway, if you do want to see some other model car reviews, do subscribe to my channel. This will be part of a playlist of all my model car reviews. Um, so do have a look at that, and there'll be links at the end of this video for that. Um, but yeah, do subscribe, do like if you like this video. And um, at some point, I'll probably do a full owner's review, eight year ownership of the actual full size car. So, uh, if you're interested in Citroën C6s, do subscribe and you'll hopefully pick up on that maybe sometime this year. It's hard to be sure. So, um, yeah, do, do watch. So, um, do, do continue to watch on this channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, let's just pick up on the tire tread. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> Michelin would be what you have. I don't know if that tread is representing Michelin tires, Michelin tires. But uh, anyway, there we go. Fairly cheap and cheerful. Not everyone's going to like me saying that, but um, you know, it, it's it is what it is, and um, it's fine. Okay, thank you for watching.